Hi guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. And I'm having a new makeup day and I need, my hair needs washing. So I'm the lazy day, but I really want to film this because I'm about to tidy my room and I need this sort of out the way. So I got some Christmas specials. So let's just go through them. First of all, we have the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. Basically, when I went to the shop, like the uh, shop assistants were just like, smell this bath bomb and smell this bath bomb. And I, I just bought all the bath bombs. <laughs> Everything else they recommended, I was like, uh, yeah, maybe next time. But this one, I was like, nope. So, this just smells like, sort of just like lush. It's got, it's quite, it's got like a sweet scent to it as well. And it's just, it's sort of, it's just sort of gorgeous. I sort of put it out the wrong way, but I don't care. So that is just, <sighs> glorious. Next up, I have... Stardust. Now this is one of the ones that seems to, a lot of people seem to like online and this is basically a sweet Santa's festive bomb to bring Santa's Christmas present to your bath. Launch it in your bath and watch it, watch it fizz away. It smells of sort of vanilla, right? <laughs> so, but also quite sweet. Bit of, I don't know, orangey things. So yeah, it's just a white star and it's it's already got like white luster in it. So yeah, uh, simple, but I think it will be effective. Plus apparently it's got edible stars in it. Which sounds epic. Next up I have... Now this bath bomb has been raved about because there used to be a so white shower gel or shower cream and it used to smell of really really crisp apples and for some reason they haven't brought it back this year and everyone's up in arms about it they're like no why haven't you brought back so white um but they still have a bath bomb and they also have a dozen pads that smells like it and i didn't get it because i had did not have enough money um so this is become the first of them all when you sink into the bath with this uh with this bomb it's a bath bomb that's weird uh Bergamot and Rose give it an apple scent as pure as... I don't think the Bergamot and Rose give it an apple scent. I think apple gives it an apple scent, but maybe not. I don't actually think it has apple scent in it, which is hilarious. Um, so that's Rose ap Absolute in it, Orange Flower Absolute. Um, Merloy... Merloy... Merloy oil? I don't know how to pronounce things. So this so white is oh God, is absolutely massive. It's as big as the sort of the old dragon's eggs were. Um, it's got a bit of blue from it from the from the uh, intergalactic, but you can get this. You can get sort of the. Uh, you, you definitely can get the apple from it, and you can smell the rose in it as well, actually. The smell and apple just sort of come together, so... Why didn't they bring back that in the shower... shower... gel, I do not know. Everyone's complaining about it, so... Possibly they'll bring it back next year. Same as Twilight, they haven't brought Twilight out, and I never had Twilight, um... But I've heard it's all about lavender, and I'm like, yo, I'm a lavender girl, so... Next up is a Halloween special, and of course, it is the Lord of Misrule. Revel in a bath with this wine coloured, mystically scented bath. I was like, wine coloured? It must turn wine coloured. And this has popping candy, oh yeah, spoiler alert, um, black pepper oil, patchouli oil, fair trade vanilla absolute, um, and stuff. And if you saw the last video I did, because I'm having like a, a lush October, a lush, lush November, lush November, lush November. I'll make that a thing. Lush Vember. There you go. So the Lord of Misrule looks a bit like this. And it's sort of just like a crown. Basically it's a crown. With the, yeah. It smells quite a bit like a sh the shower cream or shower scream and you sort of it leaves sort of like a mystical smell in your in your nostrils. It's weird. You can get the pepper from it, definitely. So yeah. I This is one of my favourites, and apparently it's a cult classic favourite as well, so... Everyone's happy, that's around. Next up, I got Intergalactic, and it's huge. And it's massive, and look at it, it's... What got me was it smells of peppermint oil. It smells of mint so much. I'm going through this now because my camera's dying. Next up is... 
We go to more bath bomb. No, this is another Christmas special. And this is apparently Emma Blackberry's one of her favourites. I've never had this before. I think this is like one of the ones that was really expensive and they sort of brought it down now. Um, so this is... I don't have something to hear about. This is the sort of the... Golden Wonder, which is like a little parcel, and this basically has sweet orange oil. Oh, it smells of oranges, and it's already it's it's got it's got gold luster in it. I can tell it's covered in gold luster, right? <laughs> it smells so much of oranges. Oh my god! And the last bath bomb I got was the Okanog, which is another Christmas special one, and it looks like this. Mine's <laughs> mine wasn't molded too well. It was a bit lopsided, but it smells very like caramelly, toffee-ish, coffee-ish, but mainly toffee-ish, maybe a bit of, yeah, it smells of toffee or caramel or something. It's almost got like a, a bit of a doughy scent about it. I don't even know how to describe this apart from it just smells a bit like, like sort of quite Christmassy, sort of eggnoggy. I've never had eggnog. Why am I saying it? That's like, it just, it, to me, it has like a very toffee, toffeeish twist smell to it. So yeah, that's Yorgnog. And I also got another cult classic, which I have to say isn't my favourite. I love to hate this product and hate to love this, as I've said in the past. And it is Snow Fairy, everyone. They've changed the packaging, um, and there's a ton of luster right there, which hasn't been mixed in too well. But I swear, they've changed the smell of this a bit. It smells a bit different. I don't know if it's not as strong or if it's sweeter. I think my nose buds have stopped working. But yeah, that just smells of really cotton candy, basically. I actually sort of quite like the new packaging. And the last thing I got was a fresh face mask. Um, now it's one that I've been looking for for weeks because I really like the smell of like roses and lavender and white mask at the moment. It's just my thing. But going into Halloween, I'm also like liking some like really musky and masculine scents as well. But I went into Rosy Cheeks because I've been looking for it forever from my local lust store and it was always, always out. And then I found it and I was like, yo, yeah. And then the lust assistant tried it out in my hand and the smell of it just made me sword. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's very pink. Um, it smells gorgeously of rose. Like so 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 nicely of rose and this one as you can probably see is not like a it's foliating mask it's more just to make your skin like really soft um thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it if you like these lush videos there's literally been so many um feel my addiction and press the like button <laughs> or maybe not um thank you for watching guys i really hope you like this and we'll see you later